Let's chat. Welcome back, everyone. We are so excited to tell you more about a mural that is going up at the Kinley Hotel. If you haven't seen it, you need to go by and check it out. And joining us now to tell us all about it is Alicia Vera and Bria Goberg. Hi, ladies. How are you? Hi. Thanks for joining us. They are independent artists right here in the scenic Cindy. Tell us a little bit about this mural and how it all got started. So we were commissioned together to uh, complete this beautiful mural. Um, about togetherness and Ashley Parrott approached both of us and it kind of just went from there. Bria, tell us a little bit about how you were chosen for this mural. I was actually recommended by James McKissick, um, the president of Arts Build. He contacted Ashley and um, she contacted both of us. So it's just been a surreal um, project overall. This is a major undertaking, ladies. If you haven't been by to see it, it is a very large portion of this building. Tell us a little bit about the design and some of the colors that you used in the project. So we really wanted to create a story about the community and diversity and inclusivity. And we were really inspired by Chattanooga elements like the Walnut Street Bridge, the blue from the Walnut Street Bridge. and. You'll even notice in some of the design elements, they're similar to like the aquarium, but we're both very colorful artists. So we wanted to use as much color as possible to bring a lot of joy and encourage everyone to smile throughout their days. Absolutely, and it definitely does. Bria, tell us a little bit about what was the most challenging part maybe for you. I think the most challenging part was figuring out a way to get my abstract paintings that I do on a flat surface and uh, manipulate with gravity onto a wall. So we're actually using parachute cloth. Um, I'm painting these pieces off site and then adhering them with um, Nova gel. It's uh, specific to murals. Um, so I think that was the most difficult part, but implementing that has been all a learning curve for the both of us. <laughs> yeah. This is a very large scale project. Is this the largest scale that you both have done? Yep, yes, so far. My first mural. <laughs> That's really amazing. All right, if folks would like to check it out, ladies, how do they do that? Um, you can just go on by anytime. We highly encourage you to interact and take photos. And soon enough, we'll have a QR code that you can scan every time you visit the mural that will fill you in about who we are as artists and about the storyline throughout the whole process. It's an amazing, amazing mural. How long do you think it'll be before it's completely done? <laughs> we have one more day of work left. We are just waiting for paint to dry at this point for the pieces that will adhere. Um, but it should be done within the next uh, week or so. Mm -hmm. We're excited. How did you ladies meet during this whole process? Uh, we kind of, we knew each other before yeah. just from the, the art, art community. Yeah. <laughs> art community. Yeah. It's definitely exciting. We can't wait to go check out the finished product. I know you all have put in so many countless hours to try to make this perfect for the scenic city and we're excited to see it come to fruition and everything be completed. Thank you. All right. Thank you both so much for joining us and giving us information. If folks would like some more information, is there a website that they can go to? Uh, they could probably go to the Kinley and check that out. I'm, I mean, we will also be sharing a lot of information and a lot of press throughout the process. So just keep your eyes peeled. All right. And is there an Instagram page that folks can check out as well as to look at your process? Yeah, you can check out both of us individually. Uh, me at Alicia Vera. And then mine is lovely intoxication. All right. Thank you again, ladies, so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. All Thank right. you. Stay with us. We have much more ahead coming up right after this short break. James, you're